Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the return of Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007. Everybody's favorite show is back and better than ever here on Twitch TV. And as always, I'm joined by my partner in crime, Dom. Yes, we thank everyone for showing up here tonight. We have a great show for you that we hope that you'll enjoy. We have a fatal four-way match here tonight. Yeah, this is our as... main event. It's the number one contendership. It's Mikey E, Dan Masters... Golga and Dan Ramon. But first, Dom, we have a huge rematch of sorts from WrestleMania. It's Vito taking on Jason D. Davis for the Hardcore Championship. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Jason D. Davis trying to get back the Hardcore Championship from Vito. Remember, folks, Vito won this championship inside of a six man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. The first of its kind here in Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007, and Vito, coming out of nowhere, is now the people's hardcore champion. Yes, Vito was was put into that match by the fans who voted for him. And he made them all proud by becoming hardcore champion. And that, you know, that is one of the weirdest things that I noticed, especially, you remember, the voting for that for those matches at Taboo Tuesday, Vito was always one of the most popular, which <laughs> beats me. But folks, speaking of popular, here comes the most decorated hardcore champion in their company's history, Jason D. Davis. Yes, yes, Jason D. Davis, a I believe 27-time hardcore champion. Close. It was only Ring six. Bell Wrestling. <laughs> Only hey, you, don't, you don't know. You don't That's know. Awesome. That's titles to fight at 24-7. That is true. Six recognized, <laughs> for sure, title reigns. But Jason is not being flanked by his other uh, D-team members, uh, which you can only assume, you know, after uh, vacating their ECW Tag Team Championships, are looking on for bigger and better things. Uh, maybe even our own tag division, which we'll get to later on tonight. But folks... Here it is, our first matchup of Season 2, and it's for the Hardcore Championship. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. First match of Season 2 for the Hardcore Championship. Jason Dave D. Davis and Vito. Let's get it on. Davis going outside, maybe <laughs> looking for a weapon already. Yeah, at least trying to create some distance. Dom, who do you have in this first match? Oh, there, eh, eh, Vito! Oh, Big Vito with I'm that big have... outside dive to start us off. Sorry, Dom. Who do you have in this match? After, after that, and what a what a, what a shocking start. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Vito in this matchup. Yeah, Vito is a safe choice. Vito coming out huge. Oh wait a sec. Already into a cover oh, here on the outside. Already. And no, it's a kick out at two. Our camera stuck behind the barricade. But we can assure you fans that that was only a two count. Big Vito coming away huge with that hardcore championship victory at WrestleMania. And now he's looking to the future. And you got to say, what what is the future of this hardcore division, Dom? Well, it's going to be... I, I hope I hope that the hardcore division... Oh, got, oh and a low blow by Vito. <laughs> Sorry. I believe this hardcore division is going to be around for many, many seasons to come here in Ring the Bell Wrestling. And you know, that's only because the title can change at any any time, any place, anywhere. Anybody has an opportunity at this championship. And now, oh, Vito with a right hand not connecting. Jason once again in control here. Irish whip and Vito with that right hand. A 
And Dom, you have nice. to applaud the D so far tonight. Coming away with yeah, some, Jason. yeah, huge offense. Yeah, yeah, Jason coming out strong here tonight after that suicide dive. Kind of really waked him up there. Yeah, I mean, it works out perfectly. As now Jason working again on that. Now we got a half crab locked in. The worst move in professional rest. Oh no, he transfers it over uh, to, to a leg bar. Leg lock there. And Jason going for it again, it looks like. Yeah, the D now. Even... Oh, the D's got it locked in one more time. Must have lost his grip once again. Oh, it's the third time a charm. <laughs> it is. is. Third time's a charm here. He's going to sit on it. And the D locks it in. But unfortunately, one more time, not able to put away Big Vito. Vito whipped into the corner. What's Jason got in store? Oh, big right hand. Vito now coming back. Jason with a counter. Jason with a clothesline. That mean clothesline there by Jason D. Davis. V big Vito going outside. Might be looking for that chair. Uh-oh, wait a sec. Oh, sheesh. Ooh, chair shot to the throat of Vito. Yeah, just cracked him over the head with it. And now Jason trying to come back in any way possible. The Vito, another huge right hand. Jason now taking the chair. Oh, Jason with a chair strike right back into Vito, right into the solar plex. Yeah, right hand there by Jason D. Davis. Nope. Continuous right hands. Not going for that steel chair, though, which is very, very interesting. Yeah, but Vito now trying to come up with a huge super kick. Both times Jason dodges. And Vito's got the chair. Vito's got the chair. Ooh, right to the back of the head there of Jason D. Davis. And a mean back suplex. Yeah, Dom, Vito I don't know if you saw. Oh, wait control. a second. Oh, Jason with a beautiful counter. Dom, I don't know if you noticed, but he broke the... Sheesh! First off, he broke his knuckles on Jason's face there. But he also broke the chair over the back of Jason. Now he has to go grab a new one. Yes, indeed. Vito. Oh, he was looking to swing, but... Jason coming in in time. It's Siguri. In Siguri there. Or as I used to mispronounce it as a child, the Fitzdiguri. <laughs> Now the D, once uh, again, in control. Let's see what he's going to go for here. Oh! Okay, just a series of rights. Connecting with the big forehead of Vito. Uh oh. He's just going and pounding. He's going up. Oh! Perfectly placed elbow there. Springboard style. And now Jason, once again, with a series of right hands. Yeah, Jason doing everything he can to keep Vito down. Uh -oh. Got the chair. DDT! That could be it, folks. Oh, wait a sec. Jason going back up again. Another springboard. Perfectly placed elbow. And now Jason in control of this matchup. Another series of right hands. And Jason could be getting close to re uh, regaining rather his hardcore championship for a seventh time. Or maybe eighth. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I don't have the book in front. I don't have my notes in front of me tonight. I left them back. Oh, no. Jason's got it. The D sits on the leg. And no. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Working on the legs of Big Vito for a majority of the match here. Vito's got the chair again, but Jason has a sledgehammer. Oh, Jason blocks that chair shot. Oh, Vito goes around, catches a big back body drop. Yeah, oh, big no. back body drop. He's oh! got the sledgehammer into the back. And again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You've seen this before. No. Not under the sledgehammer. Onto the sledgehammer. Into the cover and count to 100. This is over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still the hardcore champion, Big Vito. And a huge win for Vito tonight. And folks, we're going to be doing something new right here. This is our first ever live interview. We're going to take it backstage to our sideline reporter, Mike Fletcher. And he's going to cover, or he's going to talk to, the one and only world champion of Ring the Bell, Craig McManus. 
We're going to be doing that in just a few seconds. But, folks, big win for Vito tonight as he retains. And here yes, we go, congratulations folks. Congratulations to Big Vito. We're going to be heading over to that backstage area now. Are they uh, Are they ready? Yep, they looks like they're ready, and we're going to kick it to them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, he is the Ring the Bell Wrestling World Champion, Craig McManus. Craig, Damn an right, honor man. to have you. Yeah, thank you. You know, everyone thought that I was going to lose to me. But what happened? What happened? You saw what happened. That's the man. He did take a fight to me. But in the end, I beat him. I am now your ring the bell of wrestling of seven champ. And you see, you see, Mike, I plan on keeping this belt for a very, very long time. And I don't care who's going to be the next contender. I don't care if it's Dan Ramon. I don't care if it's Jason D. Davis. I don't care if it's any of the washed up hack talent in the back. Hell, I don't care if it's DM. Well, let me retract that statement. I don't think DM deserves a shot at my belt. I just think that he needs to prove himself a little bit more to be closer to that belt. What else questions you got? Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say, what have you been doing since, uh, since WrestleMania? What I've been doing? Oh yes. I've been just preparing myself for this run, for this long run as champion, and I have to get ready to take on whoever will be the number one contender. And you just have to study, just look at the tapes, study each opponent in this roster, and just to me, that's what I've been doing. It's just I've been relaxing, resting, resting, uh, resting some wounds, and now I'm ready to get back in the ring and do what's best. Taking the empire to the top and keeping my championship. I wanna say thank you very much, champion. Guys, back to you at you. ringside. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, the world heavyweight champion, Greg McManus. Yes, thank you to you both. And <clears throat> thank you to you guys for staying with us here. Now, it is time for our second matchup of the evening. The and Dom, here's a man who came away with a huge prize at WrestleMania. That's right, the Money in the Bank champion, Large Martinez. Yes, Large Martinez can cash in his money in the bank championship whenever he wants for an opportunity at the RTPW World Heavyweight Championship. And that's that's one of the scariest parts about Large Martinez. He has that that contender's championship there. Anytime, any place, anywhere, he can trade in that beautiful belt <clears throat> Dom for a shot at Craig McManus or whoever the champion is which by the way it was great to hear from Craig since he won that championship uh, I hope he has his eyes set on tonight's main event because that's definitely going to to uh, to write the, the way as far as uh, his next few months in ring the bell oh yes indeed we're gonna find out who the first contender to Craig McManus will be but let's not forget about this man he is the buzzsaw <laughs> Akira Tozawa. I'll put 100 bucks that this man is not the next number one contender. And let me tell you why. And that is because tonight he is fighting for his life and for his contract. That's right. He's fighting to stay in Ring the Bell Wrestling. Well, I, I feel completely bad. I feel awful about Akira Tozawa in this, uh, in this situation. I do not like his odds here tonight. Of course, Akira Tozawa with the worst win-to-loss ratio of any superstar last season. And tonight, he asked for one more match, and he, he <laughs> the, the powers that be gave it to him. Unfortunately, it's against Large Martinez. Yes, Large Martinez. He is not looking happy. He's trying to prove a point why 
it looked why he oh, should geez. be the next RTPW world champion. Martinez now on the... Oh, no! Air Martinez! That's a seven-foot man jumping through the air. And I'll take... What is he? Oh, my goodness. Just bouncing him off the, the, the table there. And a nice knee breaker. Shin-to-shin -shin contact. And look, look how angry he is. Taking yeah, apart our Spanish not, announce table. I would not want to be in the in the limelight of large martinez that's this a fact man, this man is a complete and utter monster and look at that he went out and broke the count yeah tozawa could have been counted out but large martinez wants to inflict more punishment oh, oh tozawa <laughs> with a running knee strike off the table but it doesn't do anything yeah, it did absolutely nothing for for, for Tozawa. Oh, sheesh! Oh. He just choked him through a table. Oh, my goodness. Large Martinez now. Is Tozawa going to be able to get back in the ring in time? It barely gets a, answers that 10 count. And now look at him go. He's, Tozawa going up top. He's got some fight in him. Look at that diving knee strike again. Into the cover! Is that gonna be oh, it, Dom? Uh, no. 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 No, it's not. <laughs> Martinez powering out and into oh. a roll up. No, Tozawa able to get that shoulder up before the referee could even get down. Martinez spins him around. Uh oh. Oh, pushes him away. Flips him around. Oh, no. Dom, you know what's coming next. Yep, choke slam all the way to hell. And unfortunately for Tozawa, it's a choke slam to the unemployment line. As that's gotta be it. Referee Nick Patrick in position, and that's the three count. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Large Martinez. Large Martinez, the Money in the Bank champion, just complete dominance here tonight over Akira Tozawa, who is out of a job now. Yeah, who knows and we'll ever see Akira Tozawa again. You know, you never say never in the world of professional wrestling, but unfortunately tonight for Tozawa, it seems like the end of the road is here. But, folks... It's, it's sad end of the road for him, but we no. have more to come here wait, tonight. Wait, well, wait, wait a sec. Wait! Wait, that's Mac. That's that's Jason's henchman just choking out Big Vito backstage in our parking lot. But Look why? at that. A series of back chokes trying to disa trying to take Vito out of it. What is he doing? Oh, no. Our championship defended 24-7. I believe so. Oh, sheesh. Right across the back of the neck. Oh, my God. No way. Mac, he with... found the shovel. He found the shovel, indeed. Oh, and a series of strikes to the face. Oh, no. Is this going to be it? No. Pile driver! Oh, Cover my God. Cover that man. Uh, wait, did he pin him? What? Wait. Can somebody get back there? We don't know if he cut the cover or not. We can't report anything. Oh, sheesh. Well, folks, I guess now we're going to head to our third matchup of the night. It is introduced... Uh, uh, first of all, it's a singles match. Introducing first, here he is, Apahulo Cruz. Yeah, Paul Cruz coming in was part of that Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. Which was ultimately won by Vito, who we need to get a medical update on on him because he just took a pile driver on solid concrete. Yeah, well, first of all, Paulo is still immune to fire. I'm glad that hasn't stopped him. Um, but yeah, we don't know if Max the champion. We don't know what the status is of Vito as far as championship wise and health wise. But folks, it is now time for our first. New superstar of the season. My name is Finley. 
and I love to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Coming in tonight at 207 pounds, he is Richard O'Shea. Richard! Yeah, Richard O'Shea coming in from the great country of Ireland. Trying to make a good impression here and ring the bell 07. Oh! <laughs> Look at oh, there he goes! Sprints down to the ring. Wow! Richard O'Shea just full of <laughs> full of emotion here. And look at him. Taunting to the crowd in his native tongue of Ireland. I, I, Ga Gaelic? Would it be Gaelic? I don't know. Do they speak yeah. Gaelic anymore? Yeah, okay. They do speak Gaelic. Got it. But, folks, Richard O'Shea making his debut tonight for Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 against Apollo Crews. Dom, what do you think about this new signing? Well, it, it's going to be very, very interesting to see... To see him in the ring tonight, because I have, I have yet to see anything about, about this man. Oh uh, well, you can call him Rick for short. Ricochet is is just what he goes by backstage. But uh, let's see now what we got here. A nice exchange there early on from Richard, as now he blocks the right hand from Apollo Cruz, using his speed. And quickness to his advantage. Oh, Paulo, though, able to sneak in an uppercut. He's got the front face hold here. Back up top, and a nice scoop power slam there from Apollo. Slam. Great power there by Apollo. Hit it. Yeah, up, so, Dom, uh, so Dom, we, we know enough about... We don't know anything about Richard... We do know enough about Apollo. What is what is Richard's really like his only strategy to defeating Apollo Cruz tonight? Well, strategy strategy to use to beat Apollo Cruz is pretty much keep his speed, keep his speed, and stay away from the powerhouse of Apollo Cruz. Oh, nice standing moonsault there from from Rick. As now, let's see here. Apollo with the strength in his legs able to counter Richard there and a nice oh Irish whip to the outside <laughs> Irish whip to the Irishman Yes, indeed and Now let's see what he's got here. He's putting on a submission to the outside and of course you can't win the match by pinfall or submission out there But you can inflict some more damage and Dom that might be what Apollo's going for here. Yeah, smart move by Apollo, keeping the keeping the speedster down and slowing the match down to the way he likes it. And uh, oh, <laughs> Apollo saying, "Let's get back to the out." Oh, Apollo switching it up. He doesn't know where he's going. Apollo now go behind. Oh, <laughs> and he's back outside. The room. All right, oh, now here man. we go. Oh. Go behind. It seems like Apollo's just dodging everything that Rick O'Shea is doing. And now yeah, let's see. And let's see what let's see what he's got for in store for Rick. Well, here we go. Oh, nice! A uh, modified lion tamer, of course, with the half crab. It's not going to be enough. We all know the half crab sucks, and he should have gotten that second leg. But Rick O'Shea, he's deep. running at him. But did going, absolutely oh. nothing. Irish went back into the other corner. Will he do nothing uh -oh. again? No. Nope. He did something. Up and over. And a beautiful whisper in the wind corkscrew. Landing perfectly on Apollo's abdomen. Ricochet seems to be catching it off here. And now here we go. Huge running right hand. Apollo with a huge right hand. Following it up. These two lock up again. They're almost even at this point. Apollo Cruz with a neck breaker. Modified there. No, uh -oh. wait a sec. The Dominator. And it connects! Perfectly placed Dominator into the center of the ring. Nowhere near the ropes, but Apollo's got to cover him. Oh, it's dragging him in the middle just in case. You never really know. I One, believe that's two, it. three. That is it. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Apollo Crews. Yeah, Apollo Crews getting off to a good start here in season two. 
and it'll be interesting to see how he keeps how if at all he'll keep this momentum going for the rest of the season yeah and for sure also we have to think about the future of rick uh o'Shea here in the company losing his first match but we d i did like what we saw so maybe just maybe he'll stick around but folks speaking of new people And ladies and gentlemen, next week's main event, it is a rematch for the tag team titles inside of a steel cage. It's the Young Lions taking on Team Sexy. But first, tonight's main event, it is a fatal four-way match for the number one contendership for the RTBW Championship. It's Mikey E, DM, Golga, and Dan Ramon. The winner faces man is at our first pay-per-view of the year. And now, here it comes. Yeah. It from Chicago. It's Dynamite Mikey E, who is completely frustrated after WrestleMania, after his partner, well, I guess his former partner, Hardcore Bob Holly, did not take him on vacation. Yeah, we did. We did find that out over the off season. Of course, Mikey went on to do a ton of crap in ECW. Uh, including that barbed wire massacre match with Terry Funk, but while all that was happening, uh, hardcore Bob Holly seemed to have found a new friend. And he says that next week we will find out who that new friend is live on, uh, live on Velocity. So it should be interesting, uh, to hear from that. But Mikey, now, with all of his ECW stuff out of the way, propelling himself towards this number one contendership, but Don, let me be honest with you, if any man his, you know, storyline wise, you know, fits this match perfectly. It is this man, DM. DM was um, was one of the original members of the Young Lions, but Morgan Wolf and Oliver Bisbing decided to turn on this man and join Manis the RTPW World Champion. And tonight might be the first step in getting revenge by taking the RTPW World Championship. Yeah, you know, DM's had a huge offseason. He did pick up a huge win at WrestleMania against Mikey E. He picked up a huge win at the Million Dollar Tournament last week against Morgan Wolf. And now tonight, he is so close to becoming the number one contender for the RTBW championship. And and Dom, I just have to keep saying that he's getting so, so close in his 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 story arc to taking out Manus, the head of the family. Yes, indeed. Man Man Manus has taken taking this man's friends pretty much taking everything this guy has yeah and, and, this, and he inspired this new look that we saw debut at the rumble you know just a few weeks after Manus put him out on injury but folks here comes another man he is oh, uh, sheesh he's one of our favorites here oh there it is I was waiting for that pyro to go off ladies and gentlemen RTBW Hall of Famer, Golga. That's Golga coming in, trying to shock the world and become number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Jess, how how do you feel about how do you feel about this man? Well, take a look at these fancy lighting. That's how I feel about him. I'm in love with the idea of Golga becoming the number one contender. Goga is a fan favorite of everybody. You know, Oliver Bisping backstage is nothing but praise for him. 
And you have to think that would be a very interesting dynamic to see Bisping maybe turn on, on Manus in favor of Golga. But here is a man who, yo, know, speaking of Manus, has been uh, praised uh, for his, his huge win at WrestleMania. The fourth contender in this matchup, he is Dan Ramon. Yes, Dan Ramon having a huge victory at WrestleMania with a victory over now newly named Jobber Woods. Yeah, we, we, who we will see next week. Of course. But, you know, Dan Ramon is one of the people named by name by Manus as people who Dan would have to beat in order to become number one contender. You know, different names such as, as Oliver Bisping, Morgan Wolf. Uh, there's like a thousand names <laughs> that he that, that he threw out there. Unfortunately, he's not the booker. He's just the champion. And DM now has the opportunity to become number one contender. And so does Dan Ramon. Yeah, and everyone in this match has has a good equal chance of becoming the number one contender. Mikey going out. This ain't an ECW match. <laughs> Yeah, I don't you know, know the, what you're doing. Well, there are no disqualifications in Fatal 4 way. <laughs> Sheesh, but Dan going to take his anger out on Mikey a little bit on the outside. Just smacking his face against the steps. Golga going at it. And now take a look again. There's eight and nine. Nine. Is this, is this the tenth one coming up? Ten. Yeah. There it is. The crowd is happy. You know, Dan and Mikey I've do have that history. Crab. Oh, this oh. could be it. No, per broken up perfectly by DM. How is also? How's any of these guys gonna lift Golga? Golga's huge. Well over, well over 400 pounds. Oh, and a nice tackle there by Golga. Mikey right behind him though. Just chops him and it has no effect on him at all. I know, if you look at Dan Ramon, he's not looking in great shape down there on the floor. <laughs> um, this man's body is just, you can see the redness in the skin there. The damage, he's clearly limping around. And now DM has locked eyes with him. DM, oh! DM went for it all and missed. He did, and now he has the opportunity to oh. take over, but Golga hits Golga a huge move. One, big slam. Two. two. No! Oh, Mikey kicked out. Golga could have done it there. That is the move that put away a few other people for the Hardcore Championship in the years past. Now, Golga with a huge right hand on a Mikey as DM and Dan work on each other on the outside. Dan versus Dan, if you will. Yeah, Irish whip into the corner for to Golga. What's yeah. Golga got in store for Mikey now? Oh, and a nice suplex there. Golga, big splash! Big splash! Into no. the ropes. Re referee Nick Patrick was right there, and Mikey has to get to the outside to recover. There's no way. Uh-oh. DM now thrown into the ring. Huge overhand chops by Dan. Three, four, five. Is Dan paying six. attention, though? Uh-oh, Brock Lock in the ring. Yeah, Brock Lock to Mikey E. You know, Mikey E has accredited Brock Lesnar as his real life inspiration. So maybe that's a little insult to injury there. It's Golga looking the most dominant out of anyone in this matchup. And another six flash! Oh, but DM able to get up in time, see that happen, and break up the count. Just good timing there, and a huge DDT onto Golga. The first offense I believe Golga's taken all night. Yeah, well, I, I don't think it lasted long. Not yet, Mikey though. Now, oh, Mikey gonna work on DM again. Rekindle that rivalry as Dan Irish. Oh, she's Dan just passes out over in the corner. Golga is probably the biggest advantage out of all of these men. At least as of right now, Golga now going to the outside. Leaving the other three in the ring to fight. Mikey, big back body drop by Dan. And Dan now with the takedown on Dan. You know, there's a reason why we named him DM. 
course. Not only to pay tribute to an old friend, but just also uh, so you can differentiate between all the dance we have in this group. Uh-oh. Oh. Huge clothesline from line. And a nice scoop slam from DM. Yeah, I didn't go for a cover, though. Well, that's because he, he switched his focus to Golga, the other man. Oh, big slam! Slam! That could be cover it. Cover him! You could cover any one of them! You could cover... But, but Dan, come on. Dan, he's, he's letting Dan and Mikey E get up. Yeah, Isn't but look at all the offense dumb? that <laughs> none of these men can do anything against them. That's the craziest he's part. that dominant. He is that dominant. He does not care. Spear! Perfectly placed spear from Dan and a nice tackle from behind from Golga. Golga and Dan now the two standing men here. Golga now. Oh, Ramon with a go behind. Let's see if he's... No! Nice! Inverted X-Factor. Uh-oh. Wait a sec. Uh -oh. He's going for a spear. He's going for going it. For another spear. Spear! 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 But he's not oh, going Mikey's for the... Being... Mikey's being made humble. Oh. But not long enough. Uh-oh. Huge splash! Big splash! But Dan able to break it up. Golga's hitting the splash. He's doing all this damn... Oh, she's a spinning heel kick. Busts Mikey wide open. What? And now... Dan versus Dan. Sheesh, there's so much going on, Dom. Yes, there is. Oh my god. What a main event we have here tonight for the first episode of Season 2. Golga's got Dan. Oh, oh, he drops him just in time. Mikey also down on the mat. It's just DM staring at a, a, a hole through Golga on the outside. Oh. Here we go, Ramon's coming back up. Irish whip now. Dodges, misses, and switches his focus at the last second. And it doesn't seem like to do anything. And now here we go. A nice submission hold locked in. Dan doesn't see it. Nope, nope, now he sees it. He does. No. Golga just working over everyone. Golga is clearly <laughs> just... He's just here. There, everybody. This is his match. Everyone else is just trying to survive tonight. It's his match to win. Uh oh, is, maybe he will. No, kicks out of another breakup. He's hitting that splash like it's like it's Tuesday night. But Dan able to get get a uh, able to get over there in time to break it up. Now DM now, nice takedown there. DM folks, Golga now go behind. Spins him around. Irish whip into the corner. What's he got in store? Now let's see here. Uh oh, another Irish whip again. Right into Mikey. Beautiful teamwork by the <laughs> by Mikey and Golga. Although being probably. Un oh, oh wait a sec. Wait, oh, Dan oh, with no. the cover? Is he gonna steal it? What? He stole Dan. DM. Stole Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Dan Masters. DM is going on to face Manus for the Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 Championship. And all by pitting Dan Ramon, just like Manus wanted him to. Unbelievable. Guys, we couldn't even write this if we tried. DM, the ultimate opportunist. And folks, we'll have to hear from Manus come next week about his match, his upcoming future championship defense against Dan Ramon. But folks, what a huge, huge, huge night of wrestling. We saw the return, debuts, everything. And guys, you're going to want to tune in next week for some more surprises and some more debuts and some more championship matches. Dom, anything you want to say before we head out? Uh, what, what an episode one. Thank you all for coming. Um... Wear a mask. <laughs> Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Drink some water, too, while you're at it. Folks, thank you for everybody here at Ring the Bell Wrestling. I've been Jess, and we'll see you guys next week for Episode 2.